Well, deputies are calling this one of the easiest drug busts they've done in quite a while. A Grass Valley woman, they say, contacted them right out of the blue so she could sell them drugs. New at 5, Ian Schwartz is in Nevada City with how detectives say the slip of a phone digit did her in. Deputies say the woman tried to do a drug deal through a text message, but her finger fumble landed her in the back of a squad car. Oh, cool. nice Sierra College student David McFarland is always texting, and once in a while, a slip of the finger means he sent a text that was never meant to be. You get a text message right after, like, oh, that sounded horrible. A text autocorrect can make you laugh, but odds are Jesse Mulligan isn't after deputies say she hit send on the worst text of her life. You just never know who... Uh, with this media age now, you just never know who you're texting. Lieutenant Stephen Tripp says Mulligan was trying to text a friend Friday to say she had some drugs to sell, but she messed up on the number and ended up accidentally texting a deputy. After a few texts back and forth about the drugs, detectives say they arranged for a place to meet here at the Elks Lodge, and they say Mulligan agreed to show up to deliver the goods. When Jesse arrived, deputies arrested her. So she was surprised and she probably felt um, a little bit. Uh, um, silly that, that she had contacted uh, law enforcement. Mulligan probably wishes she could get that text back, but for the detectives who were happy to be on the other end, it made for a convenient drug bust that landed right in their lap. When we get calls from criminals saying, hey, do you want to buy something that happens to be stolen or of criminal nature? Sure, absolutely. It's, it makes our job a lot easier. Jesse Mulligan's texting troubles did get her in some trouble. She's now facing three felony charges involved with this drug incident. Detectives say that the drug that Jesse Mulligan was trying to sell was fentanyl, an opiate similar to morphine.